Are you installing a new electrical panel in your house? Are you having an electrician install it for you? And you're wondering what the actual electrical panel height is or what the code is? Well, stick around and we'll show you. How to wire a new residential construction. Okay, all, welcome back to the channel today. Today we're gonna to talk about electrical panels and code heights, specifically, the height of an electrical panel. Uh, now there's a variety of different situations where uh, the height may vary, so we're gonna talk about each. So first and foremost, this is a square D main circuit panel 4080 um, with a main compartment, 200 amp. We pulled it apart just to basically show you <coughs> what the rules and regulations are. Now, check with your local electrician in your area. Uh, these are the rules for Canada. They may vary a little bit for the US, but they're pretty well all close to the same. And all inspection departments, depending on what area you're in, may differ a little bit. So first and foremost, the height of the main breaker. So I wanna talk about the breaker compartment in the panel. So you have your main breaker and then you have your main entry where your main wires come through the top of the panel. The breaker compartment starts at the top and goes right to the bottom of the breaker compartment. These are your, these are your feeds or your branch circuit uh, breakers at the bottom. Our code states that we can go no more on new construction, a maximum of 67 inches on the wall to the top breaker. That is not the top of the enclosure, that is the top breaker. So here's the interesting part. Most panels, Square D, Eaton, Murray, Siemens, all the brands are rated to be put in any position. So check specifically on the manufacturer's uh, nameplate data whether or not you can mount the panel in a different orientation. So what I mean by that is sometimes you're gonna see a panel mounted upside down and the main breaker compartment is gonna be on the bottom. That puts that top breaker, which is the branch circuit breaker, here. So that means you can go to a maximum of 67 inches to the top breaker. Likewise, if the panel is mount, mounted sideways, because you'll see this sideways in some people's homes. Again, the top breaker or the side of the breaker compartment is 67 inches. So that varies depending on what you're doing because not all electrical panels are the same. So you can have a larger electrical panel, it can be 6120 circuit and the space on the main breaker compartment can be larger, especially when you get into commercial panels or larger panels, some of them are six or seven feet tall. So the height of the top of the panel varies. Normally, it's usually around six feet, but can it be six foot seven, it can be as high as seven feet. So depending on where your 67 inches comes for the top of this breaker, that's gonna vary depending on the panel style that you're using that the top of the panel is gonna be. Now this is on new construction only. When you're getting into rework or rental work, your power utility and your inspection department will understand that sometimes they have to bend the rules a little bit. You can't always get the proper height. Now our code, code states that you must have 2.1 meters, which is basically seven feet of head clearance in front of the panel. Um, it also states that we must have a meter clearance in front of the panel. Now they're pretty strict on that meter clearance, the three, three, three and a half foot rule in front of the panel in all directions so you can get at it to work. However, in an old basement, sometimes old basements aren't seven feet. So as long as, and this is up to the, the, the inspector's uh, discretion for your area, as long as the inspector can stand up and it's a, a good dry basement, then they'll most likely let it go to be a little lower. Remember, we're talking about maximum height, so it can't be any higher than that. So they design these for shorter people, like myself, um, so you can reach the breakers. Now, some of these big enclosure panels, like I said, on the commercial, I think uh, actually Siemens makes a 60 full size and a 120 mini size panel. That panel itself is about five feet long, and that's actually a residential panel. So the uh, the main compartment on that panel is actually quite large. So depending on where you set that panel, you can only go 67 inches to that top breaker. Um, the panel's quite large and the bottom of the panel can end up quite low. 
Speaking of low, um, this panel here right now that we have is setting relatively low. The inspectors will leave it up to their discretion and usually what it comes down to is working with the electrician in your area about what they'll allow. You can't really put a panel on the floor. They're not going to like the panel down low because of course children can reach it, people can get at it, so that's why they have the minimum height um, and the maximum height. So there's no real minimum height but you don't want to go mounting a panel on the floor. So you want it at a decent, we usually try to say eye level, um, which is usually 67 inches. That's about my height. That's how we judge it. So remember, check with your local inspection area, check with your local uh, department, but that's usually what, what you're into. Anyway, battery's running low and I'm long-winded, so hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.